Hi, this is a uh, little tutorial video for my friend Katya to show her how I was segmenting the brain stems from some of her data. Okay, now I'm loading a chimpanzee brain here. As you can see, I'm using ITK Snap, I'm on Linux. So now I'm going to load a segmentation file that already existed. So here my task is to segment using some principle the brainstem so that to cut out some part of the brainstem so that across different species or different chimpanzee brains we can have a similar cut and therefore like a comparable cortical volume. Okay, to do it first I usually look at the sagittal slices. I'm using a drawing tablet from Wacom to move around with my mouse more easily. Okay, I have a, I look at this area, then I take my brush. It can be a bit larger. Maybe as large as this. Okay, then what I will do is that I will focus on the sagittal slices and I will find the I mean this is just how I do it like it's not so um, written in stone it can be changed but I find this principle easy over time so I look at the axis of the brainstem this line and then I look at the inferior and superior colliculus these two bulbs near cerebellum on the back of the brainstem and then I look at this corner the superior part of the superior colliculus and basically I visual like imagine a parallel line something like this that is um, like orthogonal to this um, brainstem axis and I try to cut in a consistent way I remove all these excess segmented voxels from it Okay, now I can start erasing. And now to make things faster, what I'm going to do is that I'm using page up and page down to move across slices. I will segment every third slice because after being done with this, I'm going to use a morphology operation, a little Python script to get rid of the in between slices easily. Okay, let's go. Just a moment. Okay. I'm doing it. Uh, I'm not touching to the other parts of the brain because this video is only to show how I'm cutting the brain stem when I segment these animal brains or human brains sometimes in some principled way it's not the best way I didn't thought too much about it but at least it's better than like not paying any attention okay I'm just following not moving my hand too much around a bit of extra cerebellum Move it. Okay, now this is enough. I can do that. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> I think I removed too many slides. Okay, every third slide. So I'm just holding the right mouse button to remove, although I selected the red brush. So basically if you select a red brush and click on the other mouse button, it will remove that color in ITK Snap. Okay. Oops, I shouldn't have that. Maybe three slices. <laughs> Sometimes I enjoy too much. <laughs> 
Okay, so it's not too big. So here, when I switch to the uh, triple panel view, so what you will see is something like this. So this is all right. Now I'm going to save this brainstem segmented image with another volume, which I named as like Cerebrum Work in Progress version 201. So now I'm going to pass this through a little Python script that I'm going to share a link in the video description. Um, and what I want to do is that I want to have an opening operation, which is basically first eroding the data by one voxel neighborhood and then dilating it so that it automatically removes this uh, unwanted in-between slices without me going through manually for each slice. I think I will share a shorter version of the script. This is just uh, like what I use in general. So I'm running it. Will work. Okay, it finished. I will call it another version of segmentation. Now I'm going to load it here. So have a look at this part and that part. It's gone. So basically, from this point onward, I'm not going to spend too much time on it, but you can. Uh, try to make it a bit more homogeneous by looking at other slices or uh, like you can try to just make it smoother or maybe one one thing that I would do is that if I end up seeing like these little parts that remains because I just went through the sagittal slices not from other views I can just go ahead and quickly erase them like so page up page down and what like one thing i find useful is that rather than doing one slice at a time if you want to be really faster with segmentation you focus on one area and then use page up page down to go through other slices so that you don't need to move your arm so much <laughs> i mean rather than just doing like one slice completely then moving to the next one of artery here I can remove it a bit because there is an artery okay yeah no, no, I'm doing too much <laughs> yeah some pieces are remaining but yeah this is basically what I do at the end the task is selecting a plane approximately orthogonal to the axis of the brainstem new axis I think it's called and then selecting a anatomical landmark, which is the upper part of the superior colliculus, and then more or less drawing a straight line from it that is orthogonal to the nerve axis. That's it. Okay, now I can send this to Katya. 